In other words, royalist democracy, the history of royalist democracy, even though it is not about the king himself, it has been tied to the reign of King Pumipon. To talk about institution as a separation from individual in the Thai case is misleading. We have to talk about how both intertwine, even though they are not the same thing. And in that case, I think looking at the political system is a way to see how the two things, institution and individuals, intertwine. Because of that, because royalist democracy tied very much to King Pumipon, tied very much to his reign, his charisma, his accomplishment. So the royalist or the network monarchy, the larger notion of monarchy, can derive their legitimacy in order to interfere, intervene, in order to dominate on top of the formal political system. Because of that, can royalists, sorry, can royally survive after the king? This is the same question before the end of the absolute monarchy. King Rama VII, the last king in absolute monarchy, raised this question himself. Absolute monarchy requires capable king. Absolute monarchy have trouble because it cannot guarantee to produce capable king all the time. A few years after the king wrote that piece, 1932 revolution, because he wrote that piece in the middle of dissatisfaction, in the middle of general atmosphere, political atmosphere of this, this, this of dissentment, people are angry, people are dissatisfied with absolute monarchy. The king knew that. And the king expressed his personal concern that how come we can guarantee the great king will be all the time? We can't. It's a kind of paradox, a contradiction. Royalist democracy repeat the same mistake, even though in different political form. It relies too much on the charisma accomplishment of certain king. Whether or not the current king is that charismatic, whether or not he's uh, accomplished that much, whether or not he's that great, he's good, that besides the point. That's why I don't care about the gossip, because that besides the point, that's what people believe. That's how it works. But even that belief, that, even, even in the fact that how it works that way, can it survive beyond the current king? Because charisma, accomplishment, barami, or moral authority cannot, either in theory or in practice, in Buddhist theory, cannot be transferred from one person, one king, to another. 